can you solve this math olympiad problem? Here's the question. Solve for the value of the product of x, y, and z given this equation square root of 16 minus x squared plus square root of 25 minus y squared plus square root of 36 minus z squared equals 12 and x plus y plus z equals 9 wherein x, y, and z are all positive real numbers. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. So, our goal here is to solve for the product of x, y, and z. Given these two equations in three unknowns, and also it says that x, y, and z are all positive real numbers. And now, how do we answer this kind of question? By the way, our answer to this question is simply equivalent to 648 over 25. So the question is, how do we get this answer? So here's the solution. All right. First thing we need to do here is to observe this given. Take note on these two numbers, 9 and 12. And also, this 16 is 4 squared. This 25 is 5 squared. This 36 is 3 squared. And 4 plus 5 plus 6 is simply equivalent to 15. And now, take note that 9, 12, and 15 can be the side length of a right triangle like this. So, two legs equivalent to 9 and 12, and the hypotenuse must be equal to 15. And now, let's continue. So, focus on this equation. The first equation, square root of 4 squared minus x squared plus square root of 5 squared minus y squared plus square root of 6 squared minus c squared equals 12. Now, square root of 4 squared minus x squared, this can be a side of a right triangle also if the hypotenuse is 4 and one leg is x. So if the hypotenuse is 4 and one leg is x, so the other leg measures square root of 4 squared minus x squared. That is exactly this term. Now, if the hypotenuse is 5 and one leg is y, so we have one leg must be equal to square root of 5 squared minus y squared. That is the second term in this equation. Now, how about if the hypotenuse is 6 and one leg is z? So the other leg must be equal to square root of 6 squared minus z squared. This is look something like this. Now, we have three right triangles, by the way, four right triangles right here. And take note that 4 plus 5 plus 6 equals 15. So we can put these three right triangles inside this big right triangle like this. Now, take note that x plus y plus z, this equals to 9. So this is the second equation. Now the first equation tells us the sum of square root of 4 squared minus x squared plus square root of 5 squared minus y squared plus the square root of 6 squared minus z squared must be equal to 12. That is also true in this figure. And 4 plus 5 plus 6 must be equal to 15. In short, we can turn this algebra problem into a geometry problem. Now, let's focus to the side length that we want to find. So, our goal here is to find the value of x, y, and z. Then, after that, we need to multiply them and get the product of x, y, and z. Now, also take note here that this right triangle right here is similar to the big right triangle and similar to this small right triangle. And by the way, all of these right triangles are similar to each other. <laughs> all right. Now, let's first solve for the value of x. Now, we will use the similarity of this figure. Now, the ratio of x to 4 or the smaller leg to the hypotenuse must be equal to 9 over 15 or the smaller leg of this right triangle over the hypotenuse. So, we have x over 4 equals 9 over 15. Now, at this point, we can now solve for the value of x easily. To solve for the value of x, let's multiply both sides by 4. 
Now, 9 and 15 have a common factor of 3, so we can simplify this as 3 over 5. Now, 4 times 3 will give us 12, so the value of x easily is just 12 over 5. Alright, now how about the value of y? So let's use this right triangle right here. So y over 5, or the smaller leg over the hypotenuse, must be equal to 9 over 15 also, or the smaller leg over the hypotenuse of 15. So we have y over 5 equals 9 over 15. Now solve for the value of y. Multiply both sides by 5. So we have 45 over 15 and 45 over 15 is simply equal to 3. So the value of y must be equal to 3. Now how about the value of z? So again using this right triangle and the big right triangle, we can say that z over 6 must be equal to 9 over 15. To solve for the value of z, let's multiply both sides by 6. Now, let's simplify. 6 times 9 will give us 54. 54 over 15 is just 18 over 5. Now, we have the value of x, which is 12 over 5. We have the value of y, must be 3. And we have the value of z, must be equal to 18 over 5. So, our goal here is to find the product of x, y, and z. So, let's do that. So, we have 12 over 5 times 3 times 18 over 5. Now, multiply all these numbers together and we have 12 times 3 times 18 all over 25. Now, 12 times 3 times 18, this will give us an answer of 648. Therefore, our answer to this Olympiad problem must be equal to 648 all over 25. And as always, we are done.